triple 100 stat armor. Ever the elusive beast, yet incredibly helpful for both PvE and PvP. Hi, my name is Fallout, and today we're going to go over the following. How to very easily grab high stat rolled armor. And by the way, I know that's already pretty well known, being tied to the Solstice event and all. But we're also going to go over the numbers behind legendary armor so you can better plan out your triple 100 build. How to burn through the bonfire bash activity quicker via an exploit. How to get high stat armor on all characters without grinding on all characters, and finally, how to easily farm silver leaves even after Bungie murdered the old farming method. There's actually a new method, baby, and it's just as good. But real quick, I want to talk to you about your loadout. You know, your man loadout. That's right, boys, it's time for Manscaped. Gentlemen, Manscaped has recreated the ultimate men's grooming kit for the modern man, suitable for men who prefer a trim, close shave, or anything in between. Introducing the Platinum Package 4.0 by Manscaped. Oh yeah. Set yourself up for success by taking your shower game up a notch. The Manscaped Body Wash and 2-in-1 Shampoo Duo go together better than chips and guac. If you're taking that big leap to go outside and actually touch grass, make sure you smell good while doing it. For your underarms, don't forget the new aluminum-free stick deodorant by Manscaped. And check it out, they even have deodorants for your balls. The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. You know this company does not f*** around, boys. Your bathroom tool shed includes the Lawnmower 4.0 Electric Trimmer and the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. These trimmers are simply built different waterproof, cordless, and made with skin-safe technology. Opt into the Peak Hygiene Plan and get all your favorite Manscaped product replenishment sent right to your door hassle-free. You'll also get the hookup with Dank Freebies, the Shed Luxury Travel Bag, and a free pair of Manscaped anti-chafing boxer briefs. Don't wait, get 20% off and free international shipping with two free gifts by going to manscaped.com slash falloutplays. That's 20% off and free shipping with two free gifts at manscaped.com slash falloutplays. All right, we back. So here's the deal. As you probably know by now, Solstice is the current temporary event going on in D2. The event itself is kind of mid and boring, but the good news about it is that you can drown in easy high stat armor. Play the bonfire bash activity, you earn armor drops. Imbuing your armor with both kindling and silver ash allows you to then re-roll your armor while also picking one stat to hit an automatic minimum of 20. Before re-rolling your armor though, be sure to also have on an armor mod on your ghost to give a different stat a plus 10 boost at minimum. FYI, you can't double up on one stat from what I've been told, meaning you can't reroll your armor for recovery while also using a ghost shell armor mod for recovery to get a 30 in that stat. Doesn't work that way. Would have been cool, but oh well. More on armor numbers a little bit later, but for right now, why don't we talk about how to farm both armor and leaves, which you'll use to make ash. For silver leaf farming, we used to have a great farm about a week ago. The same one from the Guardian games, actually, until Bungie pulled a sneaky and shadow nerfed it without telling anybody. Hilariously though, the exact same farming method works on a different Witch Queen campaign mission. So here's what you do. Open up your menu with a friend and load up the campaign mission called The Ghosts on Normal Difficulty. Go through the entire mission like you normally would until the very end. Eventually you'll get text on your screen that says Acquire Sagira, aka the final step in the campaign mission. Don't acquire Sagira though. Instead, take out your ghost and go directly to orbit. Now you have a checkpoint. Load up that checkpoint with your friend and have your friend wait in the mission while you change characters. Rejoin your friend's fire team and pick up Sagira to end the mission. And bam, there you go. End of mission reward, free silver leaves. Now just load up the checkpoint again on your original character and keep doing this over and over. You'll have maximum leaves, aka 100 in pretty much no time. All right, now it's time to hop into Bonfire Bash so we can turn those leaves into ash. I'm gonna recommend that for turning leaves into ash, if you can, go behemoth titan. Shout out to Cheese Forever for what I'm about to show you. When picking up an orb to yeet into the bonfire, first head physically up to the bonfire and use your Howl of the Storm ability to generate a wall of ice right along the edge of the bonfire. Doing that will count for multiple orb throws. Then go ahead and break each crystal, waiting about a second or so before breaking the next one. Every time that you do that, it should also count as an orb throw. All in all, if you do this with a team, you are going to burn through the bonfire bash immediately. Easy ash and easy armor farm. Okay, in theory, you should now have a bunch of armor and a bunch of ash. Time to make the donuts and get that high roll armor. Remember earlier, I mentioned that with armor rerolling and with a ghost armor mod, you can get 20 in one stat and 10 in another. I need to tell you real quick about the math and numbers behind D2 armor. Wait, 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 don't click out of the video. I know, math and numbers, 
it sucks. I'll make it easy to understand, I promise. And here, I'll put up this picture of a kitty cat in the corner so you don't get too bored. Okay, cool. The highest base value, meaning before you max it out to level 10 and pile on crap like powerful friends and whatever, is 68. Legendary armor can't get higher at base value than 68. And those 68 stat points are divided into two buckets. Bucket A is mobility, resil, and recovery, and bucket B is discipline, intellect, and strength. Each bucket can only go up to a max total of 34. So if you look at this sample armor I have right here, take a look. Bucket A has reached the maximum of 34. You know when you see armor with wild spikes and two different stats? You'll notice that the two spikes never happen in the same bucket because each bucket can't go above the number 34. There are some pieces of blue armor in the game often prized by hunter players which break this rule like the war mantis gauntlets. But for legendary armor though, the 34 per bucket rule should always apply. And keeping that in mind, you can use it to your advantage when planning a triple 100 stat build. For example, if I'm tweaking armor for my Titan, I want to keep in mind that I both value, resil, and recovery while not really giving too much of a damn about mobility. Because I can re-roll Solstice armor to have a minimum of 20 in one stat and 10 in another with a ghost mod, I can intentionally re-roll any piece of armor, confident that mobility will be ignored, which again is what I want. Because remember, bucket A can't go higher than 34 stat points total. And on this helmet that I re-rolled, for example, a guaranteed minimum of 20 recovery and then 12 Brazil only leaves two remaining for mobility. Perfect. Personal note, when trying to plan out which armor stat I want to intentionally bump up, I'm going to say like 80% of the time I want to pump up either intellect or recovery, depending on what build I'm going for. Reason being is that armor mod wise, recovery and intellect are both expensive, costing four or five a piece, whereas Brazil mobility, discipline, and strength will only cost you three. Now, planning out your triple 100 loadout. Because you don't want to be sitting there with a freaking calculator, there are easy methods to help you construct a triple 100 armor build with minimal complication. I recommend both Destiny Item Manager and D2ArmorPicker.com. I really wish that D2ArmorPicker would add more armor mods to their list. Things like, oh, I don't know, Quick Charge, but I digress. With D2ArmorPicker, you can pretty much map out your builds on paper. It has all of your armor, crunches the numbers for you, and shows what you're capable of putting together, provided you have enough high stat armor for the sake of variety. Voila, easy way to assemble your triple 100 stat build. Final thing, and this is important. You can't re-roll your solstice armor without first maxing out kindling on said armor, right? Wrong. Well, half wrong. All you really need to do is fully kindle armor on one character, and then you can take armor from other characters, move them over to your fully kindled character, and just re-roll the armor there, ash only. For example, my warlock is fully kindled, and I will be damned if I'm going to do that entire grind all over again on my titan. So I take my titan armor, transfer it over to my warlock, who again is fully kindled. And even though it's titan armor, booyah, my warlock can pump it full of ash and re-roll the stats. The only thing my titan armor will miss out on because I'm not kindling it is the glow, but I don't really care about that as much. And there, if you don't care about it either, you just reduced your solstice grind by two thirds. GG. Like today's video if it helped you in any way. And as always, subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on stream.